There's a new social media challenge encouraging kids to overdose on an allergy drug, and it just caused the death of a 13-year-old boy. Fox 4's Kerry Stoll is live at Children's Mercy Hospital with what healthcare leaders are saying about this dangerous new TikTok challenge. Good afternoon, Kerry. Yeah, hey Pat, so this TikTok challenge first popped up about three years ago and it's not going away. So that's why hospital leaders say it's really important for parents to make sure that they're talking to their kids about the dangers of this challenge and the dangers of overdosing on Benadryl. The TikTok challenge encourages kids to take a bunch of Benadryl pills so that they can experience hallucinations, but instead it's causing deaths. A 13 year old boy in Ohio spent last week in the hospital brain dead before his parents decided to pull the plug. His parents say that he took 12 to 14 Benadryl pills while his friends taped it. The boy collapsed and fell into a coma never to awaken. Now you may remember back in December, a Kansas City team collapsed at school after a classmate gave him a pill that contained the same active ingredient as Benadryl. And while he recovered, it's a warning that taking too many Benadryl can cause heart problems, seizures, a coma or death. And I think that is a common misconception because it's not prescribed by a physician, then I think most people assume that it should be safe. However, there's side effects with any medication. Um, and so it's always important to read the label, make sure you're taking it as prescribed by either your provider or what's on the label. Um, and just know that even, even medications like Benadryl taken for allergies can be, can be dangerous. TikTok released a statement in light of the teen's death saying, quote, at TikTok, we strictly prohibit and remove content that promotes dangerous behavior with the safety of our community as a priority. We have never seen this type of content trend on our platform and have blocked searches for years to help discourage copycat behavior. Now, back here at Children's Mercy, hospital leaders say it's really important to remember that poison control is open 24-7, and they suggest that parents keep that 800 number stored in their cell phones so that they have that number ready available if they need to make the call. Pat.